I mean, somebody's got to drive. Yeah. So you have more like a, like you said, what did you say? Like Bobby, Bobby D and the Bobby, Hap- Bobby D and the Gooch. Yeah, something like that. Like Bobby. No, Bobby D and the caretaker. Okay, I'll be the caretaker. Oh, the caretaker. <laughs> How about the undertaker? The, no, not the undertaker. I like caretaker. The because it's something I like caretaker because it gets to be like the like my role is to bring random knowledge and Socratic insights like uh, Undertaker's too like a wrestler name caretaker's good. What about <clears throat> the Gooch? The Gooch? What is that? What I don't know. That that's signify? I like I like I like I don't like that. But that's because that means nothing to me. That's like a joke name. Um, yeah, but well, what if someone out there is a Gooch though? Like they actually are a Gooch. I don't know what a Gooch is. I don't either. Um, well, first of all, maybe we should just pledge allegiance to the flag. And, okay. Um, that sounds good. We're going to do a clap here. Okay. Ready? Here we go. It's a Beatles song. Yeah. 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 It's a Terrible. Beatles song. This is our first. What is she doing? I don't know. What are these, these are all selfie moments, or they're just so excited to take pictures of the other friends. All right, so no, that show check up. it out. This is like the first. Um, they're all looking for Pokemon characters. That's what they're doing. They're right? basically like, this is the the first event they've ever had in the Steve Jobs Theater, which is this huge thing they've just built oh at a campus gosh. called the Spaceship. Oh my god! Or nicknamed the Spaceship, and they've dedicated this theater to Steve Jobs oh. so like here we are this is our this is anyone's first look at it it's been you know pretty secretive I think that's why they're all taking uh, yeah so there's kind of a big I'm gonna move this mic a little bit well that's unbalanced right off the bat there yeah song is all you need song is all you need Song is all Coin Beatles. I guess they're Anthem. like, you know, they're probably really excited to be there. I'm sure they are. Yeah, yeah. It's palpable. Yeah. She loves you, yeah. It's weird how everyone's on their phones. Yeah. <laughs> they're all texting. Whoa, did you hear that fade uh, out? Yeah. Whoa. This is uh, profound here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's with the rainbow apple? Is yeah. that new? I get you no know, that remember the rainbow apple was like the first one, dude. The first color apple they had not back that, in the day. Though. No, no, not that one. That's like the bad hair rainbow hair. That's what that's a reference to. And all you can see say? is just this weird message. Hello world. Oh, welcome to Steve. That looks like the Goodyear blimp at There's a distance lots of ways on a black night. <laughs> to be as a person. He's talking about and being a some person. Some people express their deep appreciation in, in, in different ways. But one of the ways that I believe people express their appreciation to, to the rest of humanity is to make something wonderful. Just by minding their own business. And put it out. I don't... I'm you trying never, to see where I am in people. here. Am I looking? You never shake their hands. Oh, I'm looking from the side at the screen. Yeah. Their story or That's probably yours, right. No, I think it's just at an angle there. Because the that's what um, something with a Akira Kurosawa taught us. <laughs> Something's transmitted there. And it's a way of expressing to the rest of our species our deep appreciation. So... We need to be true to who we are. I feel kind of calm. And remember what's really it's, it important. It is. It's a hypnotic us. ASMR deal he's doing. That's what's going to keep Apple Apple. <clears throat> is if we keep us. I'd like us. a little more appreciation from Apple, please. So that's Steve Jobs talking, I think. No. Where's the hologram? Man? It is. I want the hologram. That's his voice. They, they dug that up from What's somewhere. the voice without the hologram? Oh, hey, guy. Steve Jobs is looking pretty good. <laughs> he's this just guy. like he's just like Ellen DeGeneres. He's he's dressed like Tim Cook. Thank you. I love hearing his voice oh, and his inspiring message, dude. This is taken right out of the free church Steve stuff like evangelism this is oh yeah this oh, is yeah. totally like the whole thing they've they've 
Yeah. It's, it's creepy. It's total church, man. Watch this. It is the honor of a lifetime <clears throat> to be the first to welcome you to the Steve Jobs Theater. Mr. Rogers called. Steve meant so much to me and so much to all of us. I feel like Look we're at not that. supposed to like crack jokes during this part. Look at that. There's not a day that, that goes by oh that God. we don't think about him. Memories have especially come rushing back. Okay, so there's this thing where I can actually stop, and we could, if we felt like we wanted to stop and yeah. we continue recording, if we wanted to say, for instance, I wanted to remark on how Steve Jobs' yeah. chin was jutting just, yeah. into the frame, and I could see every hair of his beard on the high resolution display. I know it's not attractive. This, I mean, that's the kind it's of thing like, we dude, could do. All right, Steve's spirit and timeless philosophy on life will always be. The DNA of ours. I don't know, man. I feel like look at that look. Like that is now. one sinister. That's Doctor Evil look right there with the pyramid hands. Look at that. Pyramid hands. <laughs> totally. <clears throat> or, uh, look uh, at the little worms coming Marty out of his Burns. chin. Yeah, I know. Like that is. <laughs> they're they're uh, vermicelli. Oh, little whiteheads. We do love him. Where he could I'm sorry, share listen to what he's our saying. latest new right. products and new ideas with the world. It's just blather. And we do so not only to pay tribute to Steve. Uh, see, I'm dumbfounded. But to inspire the next generation. Like, how much of this is actual honest and expression and how much of it is, is creepy, Steve you know, a genius. I think that's the hardest question of all. One of the many ways that he showed Marketing. That, Especially with that sincere look, right? Yeah. But, but it's kind of smug. Yes, like he's got smug. a joke somewhere in there, right? Oh yeah, he's wry. That's why they admire him so much because they all, you know, they're like the epitome of grammar nerds and shit. <laughs> they love his narrative. Yep, exactly. They should inspire talented people to do their best work. So over a decade ago, inspire. Oh, yeah, he's a leader. It is pretty fascist. Yeah, that was a long pause. I think he forgot what he was going to say. I yeah. His vision for Apple I think Park he needs a little more an incredible workplace of the future. Hitler in this engineers and delivery. Designers I'm getting bored with this propaganda. Collaborating. But then I didn't the drink the Kool-Aid <laughs> of Apple products to change the world. It did change the world. Steve's vision and passion live on here at Apple Park and everywhere in Apple. Is that true, though? Today, wouldn't he just be always, like, "This is f***ed up"? We yeah. Are. Yeah, you would think if he was a, if unless he was a sick, disturbed human being, it feels like he would have disowned all this shit by now. <clears throat> this is, dude, psychologically, anthropologically, this is a cult. Uh, that's what I. That's what I feel like, but I haven't watched one in so long. But this feels very. It's, it's a like cult pictures of, of Reverend Moon. Yeah, right? here it's today a cult to talk of about devotion, some adoration. Incredible product. It's. But before we get to that, I'd like to take a moment to talk about what's happening in Florida and Texas. Oh, yeah. Southeast in the United States and across the Caribbean. Oh. Our hearts go out. What about North Carolina? Yeah. What about South Side Chicago? <laughs> That's what Harvey. they should be talking about. If they really gave a flying yeah, F. Thoughts, hand in hand, why? Why are you like using this moment? Oh, look! It's a black hand and a white hand too. This is just making it really right. simple for the entire Apple community. We don't care. Well, it's like, I, so, what option do you have? Like, if you're showing two hands, yeah, it's like oh, yeah. you have no option but to make one black and one white. You couldn't make two black hands, and you couldn't make two white hands, and you, uh -huh. you really only have that choice. It's true. Unless you, know you made I mean? them, like, purple and... Purple and green? Yeah. But with that, that would... I mean, everyone would say, why aren't they just black and white? Isn't that what it's all about? Well, what... what they would be like, uh, is it about purple and green? Is it? Is it really, like... That's what they would say. Or, no, two rainbow hands. Oh, two different... Two... Colors all over the hands. Yeah. All two different... Two hands and rainbow. Hands. Yeah, psychedelic right. hands. And I, I encourage you to watch it. And however you choose to give, I hope that you open your heart to this important effort. I think they're looking for Thank money. You. Buddy. 
however you choose to give. It's a tax write off for them. <laughs> it's like I got a bunch of used shavers. <sighs> Send them down there. The money that they yeah, they give, they can write off. Oh, here he's talking about the we'll the, start moving the church. In Apple Park later this year. But of course, such a large move is really more of a process. And the first big step is the opening today. What the hell is that? The glass oh. Oculus to the, the pit? The this looks weird. It's purpose-built theater ever built for events just like this one. Apple Park has been built to reflect Apple's values. It's all a both technology reflect. Oh, my and God. It connects... It looks like a bunch of dishes. Advanced buildings with a rolling parkland to form an open and inspiring environment for our teams to create and collaborate. Look at the weird foreground of the this. Park like the, itself yeah, that's totally Photoshop. Converted from a sea of asphalt. Hold on. Into he said asphalt. Seventy-five acre <laughs> green space with over nine thousand trees. 175 acres. Park is designed to Wait a second. Seat. Wait a second. Didn't he just say, is this rose from a sea of asphalt? Yeah. I, like I, those trees aren't yeah. seedlings. Yeah. Do they transplant I, all of the 9,000 trees <laughs> to this campus? I don't know. Yeah. They ruined good skateboard land. Plus <laughs> with nature, it's open, transparent. It brings the outside in and connects everyone to the beautiful Man, I don't want the outside in. I want the outside out. Mm. It's powered by 100% renewable energy. Thank you. Whoa. Did you see that? That is pretty cool. And in fact, we have one of the world's largest on-site solar installations right here. And just like Whoa. every other night. It's like a giant heaven, baby. It's like a McDonald's in the future. With extraordinary attention to detail incredible precision and really beautiful materials we've got a great visitor center which will be open later this year where we will welcome everyone this doesn't the remind you oh this is center. like the the thing at the um, church of scientology on hollywood boulevard in la Ooh. where they have like this antechamber where oh. they, you can kind of go and hang out but if you walk past yeah you see people in the glow of the blue light getting their thetans or whatever the hell it is you'll find an incredible <laughs> look it looks like the pentagon experience where you can learn more about apple it does Park, its design and its innovations didn't you'll also didn't um jg ballard write a book about apple a place like this store. as you know apple retail has doesn't remind you logan's run at all about more than selling <laughs> Discover, explore, and experience our new product. This dude, the way he talks. So before I, we get to some incredible products, I'm just amazed that like he give you has the gig on retail. And to do that, I'd like to invite Angela up. He, Angela? It's like he's so stiff. Yeah, but that's like you don't see public television with all those infomercials. It's the same. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. They want it to be slower, even I it's think, to make to it like here. a hypnotic. No, and I I'd... love the fact that the same team that designed Apple Park also designs our largest retail how, store. How many times do you think she practiced this? It's funny. We actually don't call them stores anymore. We... Wait, we don't call them stores anymore? Do you need me to adjust your mic? So you Over can, so I can see? see? Yeah, because I can't. How's that? Yeah, that's perfect. Shit. Okay. Okay. Fuck it. So yeah, this is Jimmy D and the caretaker, and this is our first, uh, it's our first foray into this format. But yeah, go ahead. caretaker. Why don't you take it for a minute? Do okay. Some sound effects or some All right. humdingers. Um, so what about that weather? Uh, and hope you're all uh, having. You've you've evolved to uh, excel in this post 9/11 era that we uh, we find ourselves engaged in, and uh, not too worried about the future although we can all see the the uh, train wreck up ahead and we know we don't know how close it is it's like in physics uh either you know the speed or the location i kind of feel like this should be a canadian show is it just because of strange brew <laughs> yeah we are a bit of like bob and doug mckenzie I mean, we, are from we got that bob and doug mckenzie vibe we do kinda, eh? for sure all right so get go out and get me a twofer eh 
Who is this woman? We call them town squares. Oh. Because they're gathering places. Oh. For 500 million people. Wow. Jesus. Who visit us every year. They're not stores. Places where everyone's welcome. And where all of Apple comes together. Does she seem mad? But what really brings it all to life, as Tim said, yeah, I wouldn't are our trust incredible her. teams. We've always said that our people are our soul. And they're Apple's greatest differentiator because they bring personal connections. She looks like the type of person who's really easy to work with. Does she? Not. But along oh. with our amazing teams, <laughs> our commitment to design also sets us apart. To make things simple. <sighs> beautiful. Simple. And that's why we think of Apple retail like, as Apple's I wouldn't largest cross her. products. And like all of our products, oh, that's interesting. The, Apple retail is Apple's largest product. Did you hear her say that? Even further. In our largest cities where we can, we create a so plaza. So, what they're going into finance everyone. next? Maybe it's just like a McDonald's thing where they friends, they own the land. Oh. The artist on the weekends. I don't Inside, think so. we've designed a forum. Listen to the local artist on the weekends. Who came up with that line? I wonder. Again Look with what one another. Is this really happening? They're going to do art shows? And... Of course. We have a quieter space that's the, the dude, that's the future, man. Didn't you see Rollerball? Corporations it's become... It's a boardroom. Did you hear they're going to have a boardroom for people to come in? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, they know it's the... um. It's lastly, he who he who controls the means. Kind of like shop windows around a town square. They're carefully curated and they change seasonally to always feature our newest products and services. Man, check out the people they've summer, got in these photos. I know. Turn on these new it's, features. It's uh we've launched today at Apple. Our whoa. in store I don't recognize anybody to inspire customers to go even further with their passions. Today at Apple. We started with things that are core to Apple's DNA, things people most use their devices for, and they trust us to teach them. Porn. Like photography, music, photography. gaming, and she app means development. Porn. Yeah. We've created new programs like Photo Walks, where customers can perfect their photography skills with features like portrait mode and memories. And we do all of this in a really fun social way by taking them out to the neighborhood to explore with each other. What's going on there? It's uh, a like a version of that movie Centipede oh. on another level. <laughs> I thought it was a trust exercise. Oh, yeah, probably that. Or, or Tai Chi. Is that what the Centipede movie Where was about? Tai Chi demonstration. <laughs> hey, is that Chelsea Clinton? It looks like her. Ooh, that's common. I know that guy. He's rapping. I can tell he's rapping by his hat and by the way he's holding the mic. Into his MacBook? Yeah. Yeah, it was RZA. I told you. I like his soundtrack to Ghost Dog. Ghost Dog? By the way. Good, good movie. It was. Oh, look at those awful chairs. Awfully uncomfortable looking things. They're there to work, not to be comfortable. always been to technology. And I would love to show a quick video to show you how today at Apple is coming to life. You know, the creepiest tone of this is like the, the people are like little components. Welcome in their, to in their today realm. at Apple. They're today all like... At Apple, we're going to be learning about coding. Today at Apple, it's like you, today at Apple, we're learning about photography. You have tons of good ideas in your head, so it's like, ooh, I like that. I'm gonna explore that some more. You have tons of good ideas in your head, and it's like, ooh, I like that. I'm gonna explore that some more. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, that kind of seems like it sums it up. How so? I don't know. It just does. It's like gobbly gibberish. Time, about it's just it, it's they're not saying anything really i mean it, it's more what they're showing than what they're saying and then it's about this awesome beat. yeah it's all about the emotional whatever identifying with this utopian rainbow community started. that has also like you know folks around their gizmos you're such a downer man god <laughs> I love technology. I just don't like being forced to identify with it. I mean, I it's like, technology. it's absurd. It's like this. Can you imagine the, the analog to like Ford doing this? It's like, what what about, I mean, talk about, it's not even form over function. It's identity over function. 
We are totally talking over this woman. This is a pr total proof of the patriarchy it and is. mansplaining. We're it's not. like we're mansplaining right over the top of we're, everything she's saying right yeah. now. Well, because she's not saying a damn thing. The glass cube will return. The glass cube will return. Late next year. It's all just, yeah. you know, it's good. This is all good for us. What are those circles? Are those little portals? Paris, glass cube. Isn't that like where they kept Hannibal Lecter in that glass cube? <laughs> And I'm thrilled to personally announce the opening of our newest flagship store in the heart of the Midwest, Apple Michigan Avenue in Chicago on October 20th. I Do you think anyone there is really that like, excited pavilion. or they're just on her team? They just woo, dude. But they probably like work for her and they're like, yeah. Mommy. Or they're from Chicago. Those are people from oh, Chicago. Are, she should have been like, shout out to Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. Hello, Chicagoland. Yeah. Or Hi, Billy this Corgan. Is so dull. She could have been like, how many people are here from Chicago? <laughs> Who here is from Brooklyn? So a huge thank Who here is from Queens? All right, just the women now. <laughs> just the men. Passion, energy. Commitment in serving all of us every day and ensuring all of Apple comes together. Brilliant. Thank you. I feel so bad. I feel like we didn't listen to a thing I she said. I didn't because I Thanks, I was repulsed by her manner. I am really excited. I'm really excited about all the incredible things going on in retail. That I am. This guy is even creepier proud though. Of our unbelievable. It's the delivery. Team. It's the best place to go experience our new products. And so let's products. get going on telling products. you about what we're going to launch today, launch. beginning with Apple Watch. Whoa, Apple Watch. There's already one of those, isn't there? I think Apple so. Watch I've seen those to help people stay things. Active, motivated, and Dumbest looking watch I've ever seen on a, on a adult's wrist. It's kind of like an ugly swatch. Why don't they just, yeah, why does it have, because it has to announce itself is why. Since the launch of the Series 2, it can't just be a subtle device. So there's been two. This is the third one. Uh -oh. Last quarter, Apple Watch grew over so what can it do now that it couldn't do before? This is incredible. So, okay, here's the weird thing about this. It's like part... Crazy brainwashing. Yeah. Part retail hype. Yeah. Event like PR event, and then it's this shit, which feels like a shareholder meeting. Yep. It's everything. So it's almost one. like the whole thing of Apple is that it's, it's, it's a corporation that brings you in as a. It makes you feel because half of these people are and like, everyone who's making their money in the market in the last fifteen years is heavily invested in Apple. Yeah. That's the yeah. and so all these people, these sort of upper anyone upper middle class who, ah, has, a, who has any kind of involvement that, in the market. That's is, the appeal. So all in right. a way, it's like we're all in this together. That's why I don't identify with it at all. Okay, I understand why I'm repulsed by it now. <laughs> now, last year, we told you that the Apple Watch had already become the number two watch in the world. After oh. Uh, Today I'm thrilled to tell you the Apple Watch is now Timex? the number oh, one watch in the world. Oh. Where does uh wow. where does number Shinola one. fit on that Shinola watch? list? I don't know. But what's most rewarding to us is how much our users love it. <laughs> our, we have an industry leading customer satisfaction rate of 97%. This okay, is so life. here's another weird one, right? Like, yeah. we are 97% satisfied <laughs> with. How pissed off were those 3%, though? They must what have those... been like, you know what? <laughs> they were, what like, if they were enraged? Shouldn't there be some, like, this is a poor, this isn't good data viz. No. Like, there should be a curve or yeah, something where you true. can see, like, the outside reaction. I don't reaction. believe that. Because not... I think you're right. I think that's 3% probably just, like, lost their mind. Yeah. And started screaming. They were insane. Because the other 97% that guzzled the Kool-Aid that day Yeah. were just enjoyed. They were but glad. I, yeah. You know. I don't think there's any middle ground here. I think no. you're either, true. like, Satis generically you never hear, satisfied you never or you're hear, f livid you never hear you hear you people don't talk about how annoying it is to go to the genius store they just don't they just say i hate that place and i wish i could find a, a local shop that i could trust to repair my iphone yeah 
But most people just go in there and go, ooh. Yeah, and then they don't talk about it. They say either, oh, I loved it, or they just they don't talk about it. But so, I mean, here's the reality, man. Like, if this... It's a denial. This video a you're watching right dissonance. now, it's likely that 97% of you are going to think that it's not cool what we're doing. Oh, I, oh, that's true. That's... 97% yeah. or no. Yeah, they're 90, hate us. 97, let's say, let's say 100% of the world has Apple products. Yeah, okay. It'd be hard to skew our Android next. Google would be easy. And tell us how the Android's got that uh, uh, Linux background, though, I guess. These stories I are hear. unbelievable. And we prepared a video so that you could hear directly from them what they're telling us. I'd love to play. Oh it. yeah. Great. Doesn't he sound like he's talking to little kids? Yeah, exactly, dude. That's what I'm getting at. It's like the preacher, the the really He did the Apple. Привет, Apple. Dear Oh. Sending the Apple bones. Hello, Mr. Cook. Вам пишут киборг из России. I know you may never read this, but I just wanted to put it out there. I live in Massachusetts. I'm a country boy from small town Mississippi. I'm a two-time Olympian. And I can't find a job. I recognize this style of uh, advertising. When are you bringing the new Apple to my city so I can get a job? Every day for the last two and a half years, I have worn this tiny computer on my wrist. This is the first time I've worn a watch since my bar mitzvah. I was a scrawny, sports-hating kid who never really liked being active. Wait a minute. I was a scrawny sports hating kid. Wow. Whose fault was that? I, I I just I feel like that's a what's that about? What's really going on there? Uh it's the nerds getting their revenge is what it's all about. I guess. I don't know. Oh, I think I hear my phone interfering with Yeah, me. I hear that too. I turned mine off. I'm gonna turn on airplane, airplane mode. mode. Right. Sorry, listeners. Okay, well, we'll get back to it here. I just wanted to call that out. Scrawny sports hating it's all, kid. It's all Ubermensch crap is what it is. It feels like it's deeper than we're going right now. Yeah, yeah. I was coming back Their from souls were saved. I was never fat. I was the proud owner of a Apple is Jesus and all that. Deep depression and weighed 250 pounds. Okay, this is vulnerability. This is male vulnerability. Oh, yeah, true. All right, that's what it is. Now I get up at 5 a.m. If it's five minutes to midnight, I'll do push-ups in my bedroom. I'll take the dog out for a really quick walk around the block. I walk around the house and my family thinks I'm a little crazy. I dutifully oblige when the Apple Watch reminds me to stand up every hour. That's just nuts. That's not appealing. Like you need to be reminded to stand up it when you're like sitting what they all day. Show us is, is meant to make you feel good, but I never have that reaction. It's like basically this is propaganda to teach to encourage people to be programmed by a tool but what is what is the problem why am i having such a negative reaction because it's absurd to have a tool tell you what okay, to do and be excited same, about it is it the same as just like any bullshit advertising or is this going further it's going further yeah i think it's going phone landed far out of my reach once I collected my thoughts, I, mean, it, I remembered my Apple It's Watch a message. The it's it's after being well, he was in a car accident? Was that was a, what was it? Wait a minute. My liver, kidneys, and heart to start shutting down. The integration of her glucose monitor with the Apple Watch lets us make sure her blood sugars don't go to Okay, now we got the you don't hate children do you thing. Well, yeah. For six I mean, minutes I hung there. Oh my gosh, it's a reenactment. That's hilarious. Had I not been wearing my Apple Watch, I never would have sought medical attention, which in turn saved my life. Well, you're stupid. You needed an Apple Watch. You're stupid. Something that does not make me feel old. Thanks for listening. Avi, sincerely. See, this is just infantilizing us on the absurd level. Give it a chance. It's insane. Give it a chance. It's wrong. They just want to help you. They want you to feel better. Yeah. Look at that poor guy. Hey, that was the other guy, isn't it? The other Steve. Wozniak? That was Woz, the Woz. Really no he needs to, to grow a mustache like or something. I'd like to thank everybody in the video for sharing their personal experience with all of us.
Now, we have some great news about the future of Apple Watch. And to share it with you, I'd like to invite Jeff up. Jeff? Jeffa? Jeff up. I thought he said I'd like to invite Jeffa. I used to date a girl named Jeffa. I knew Shout one out to Jeffa. Jonna. Shout out to Jonna. stories are really great. And it's, it's really inspiring to us that so many people are getting healthier with Apple Watch. And with Watch OS 4, they're going to be able to do even more. We're adding smart activity coaching, which is going to help more people Jesus close more Christ. rings more often. Are we just watching Scientology, essentially? Or Cyborgtology. We, but is this Cyborgtology? But, I mean, I, I think it goes deeper than Scientology. I think it's almost like... Yeah, it's programming. It's almost directly. like ancient Judaic, mm. you know, some kind of... Well, it's messianic, for sure. It's going to save us. Protect us. I ah. bet if you looked all this shit up, it's right, right there in the Torah. <laughs> a completely redesigned workout app with high intensity interval training, new features for swimmers like auto sets and gym kit, an industry first. It's really uh, simple. You just watch for swimmers watch to tell you when you're drowning. Going, and all your metrics are in. So we're doing three things. First, we're making enhancements to the heart rate app to give you more information. Now, you'll see yeah, your heart rate this. right on the Fuck watch yeah. Face. I mean, it's not like the, the technology's risk. wrong. I'm not saying that at all. The heart rate app, technology's great, but it's a tool. Like resting heart rate. You don't want to be the you don't want to be the tool. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know technology. if you can go halfway in. I'm not sure. I mean, I think <clears throat> that's the death of us for sure. That's that's worse than AI. Be running things and now i mean keep a better picture of your heart i think you, you, you just can't trust people with your data oh the that oh you're talking about that yeah i mean not just that but like in general you can't trust them to yeah. make the right call oh yeah exactly that's what I'm, that's my point yeah. you're, you're you're delegating this labor saving device there's a there's a and now apple watch and uh, 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 a nexus of when where labor saving devices and, and, and technology start taking away from your quality of life yeah you know it's Absolutely. like how much uh, like well it's like you the, the the shit becomes autonomous and you lose all your autonomy yeah exactly but i mean it's it's also just like behavioral so like mm. do do i really is it really good to have Let's just say psychologically. Yeah. The same thing that I'm telling the time with. Yeah. Is my heart monitor and all of my communication. Yeah. And like the centralizing yes. of that. It's over. It's that too causes much. some behavioral issues. Yeah, totally. Like it's overwhelming. About switching it's modes. Sense, like, it's okay, a, here's my heart monitor. Yep. Here's my watch. Here's my shit. But it's like when it's all in one, yeah. then it does almost become monolithic and yeah, something that you're in totally. service to or. It's idolatry. Oh, you're talking about like the golden calf and all that. A little bit. Yeah. It's an, it is. It's, it's What's the golden calf? When, when, <laughs> when the people, when the Jews in the desert were breaking the laws. Or, uh, I was before the Ten Commandments or after the Ten Commandments. I can't remember, the but they're worshiping a golden calf. It's focused on heart rhythm. A regular heart rhythm has a familiar pattern, but when your heart beats irregularly, it's called an arrhythmia. It doesn't mean, and it affects tens of millions of people and is a leading cause of... Stress. But I'll tell you what, man. So having some experience with this, the, the the rhythms and the patterns are extremely complex mm. and it's not some, the reason that this hasn't come out before mm. is because you can't really trust anything other than a dedicated kind of device or instrument to tell you that because there's so many false indicators in those peaks and valleys mm. so yeah. I, I yeah i bet they've done some development but I wouldn't, An algorithm trust, to I wouldn't read. trust my my entertainment watch to tell me something yeah. serious. And a, it's a, like a cardiologist algorithm. They're not. Trust me. I bet cardiologists are just groaning. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. But the challenge is, many people with AFib. Because the doctors symptoms. want so all the control, man. Knows. Probably. We've been looking at this for a couple of years, and we think Apple Watch can help. And today, we're announcing the Apple Heart oh, Study. God. See, this is what I need, man. They're becoming this like all-encompassing. This study is being conducted in partnership with Stanford Medicine, and we're working closely with the FDA, and they've been great to work with. Those are the updates focused on fitness and health, and they join 
the other Look at the eye of Sauron. <laughs> no, that's a kitty cat. That's a psychedelic kitty. Or Pokemon monster. So that's Watch OS 4. It will be available to all Apple Watch customers on September 19th. <laughs> what did they do with the people on this? Those are all the suckers cheering. <laughs> or they worked on it. What? And These guys are all thin. Yeah, because they're all the nervous <laughs> all the time. They always have. They need that little watch that controls everything. Do you think they're just eating some like, super powder everything. that they get in Silicon Valley? Like some uh, super engineered powder? They're, they, they, Wait, they act, it's a surf watch? Yeah. Mm. Oh, there you go. Dragging it through the wave. Dragging it right through the face. <laughs> She's stoked. Massive stoke, man. Now, why would you want a phone call while you're riding your surfboard? That's just offensive. Well, you could get an alert. Oh, while you're while you're in the green room, man, just like hunched over with your hands scraping down the face, and you're getting your alerts. <laughs> Introducing Apple Watch Series Three, and it has cellular built in. Oh, Dick Tracy, Dick Tracy, man. Yeah. Well, it's over. <laughs> now you have the freedom to go anywhere with just your Apple Watch. This, this has been our vision from the very beginning, and we believe built-in cellular makes Series 3 the ultimate expression of our What if he said this? What else could he have said after he said, this has been our vision from the very beginning? <laughs> like, what, yeah. what fill in the blank there? Like, what, oh, my gosh. I don't know. It's pretty sinister if you ask me. <laughs> The whole time, this is what they've been planning. This is <laughs> this is like their scheme. <laughs> Our scheme is coming together. Exactly. He's like, got to be honest. They should show that picture again of him. This with has the, been planned all of him along. making the Illuminati pyramid and, and leering at the at the <laughs> at the tools in the crowd. Now we feel we can tell you. We can finally reveal. Ninety-seven <laughs> percent of you have drunk the Kool Aid. <laughs> you drunk it. Watch. Now you can go for a run with just your watch and still be connected. You can leave your phone when you go to the beach or just run a quick errand. And it's really nice to know you can be reached if needed while staying in the moment. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's, it's getting that's good. Like, come on. That, cause this is like that's getting like, good. That's so, oh, man, that's beautiful. It's like wow! I could I could just imagine the unconscious cog the cognitive dis going in those brains. Yeah, I what? can I could spend more time reading to the kid because I'll be able to look at my watch and look at my alerts. But I'm in the moment. On my watch, I'm but in I'm the still moment, in man. the moment. The kid doesn't have a clue. He doesn't know. I'm in the moment. He doesn't really care. He's sitting there. The kid doesn't care. And you say, oh yeah, yeah. It's free. It's like basically. You got a free hand, you know? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Can you do Instagram on here? I'm sure you can do everything on right. there. You're you're a pretty big Instagram guy. Yeah. If he if he if the next thing he says is and it works great with Instagram, <laughs> you're gonna go out and get one, aren't you? No, I don't, All right. I don't know. If you could play tank games on it, I would go get it. You probably would. Yeah, I would. All, right. All with just your watch. And and the number is the same number as your iPhone. You don't have to manage a separate number. The apps you rely on, like uh, messages, just work. And Siri's at your beck and call anytime, anywhere. Of course she is. She's you a can dutiful use maps Siri. And, directions, and the location for Find My Friend automatically switches to your watch when you're away from your phone. Yeah. And third-party apps like... I wish Siri had it like a, a different, well. you know... Have you ever gotten an... Uh, have you ever, like, actually gotten a fight with Siri or tried to pick a fight? <laughs> I tried to pick a fight, and it was it was actually it seemed like she was down. Whoa! Like it, the the tone of other responses, it felt like she was ready to. We like any second, I was yeah. waiting for her to be like, "Listen, you Listen. simpering," f <laughs> or you know, we, just at work we have Alexa, and we always get mad because Alexa's you know confused a lot of times because not everybody will will let Amazon play their songs. But uh, but I, sometimes I wonder if 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 they I try and talk shit uh, to Alexa about Siri sometimes. Yeah. You could ask 
could ask Alexa to, yeah, you could ask Alexa to like tell you something secret. Yeah, tell me Siri. some secrets about Siri. Yeah. Some ugly f- Yeah. Some dirt. Super I want to hear some nasty. Nasty. D- nasty. Like you could say, "Hey Alexa, what's the nastiest most disgusting fact about Siri you can think of?" Yeah. She probably wouldn't be and able to find it. Coming next month, Cellular is going to change the way we listen to music. Because with Apple Watch Series 3 and Apple Music, you can stream 40 million songs on your wrist. How, how, how are you going to listen to all those songs? Yeah, exactly. 40 million. 40 million. That's just disgusting. What if he was like... 40 songs on your wrist. <laughs> everyone, everyone, and then everyone was like, whoa, yeah. And then everyone's like, hey, it's an inside joke. You know? Yeah. It's like, it's some kind of Apple joke. He should have just no, said, no, sorry. He just 40 said, he just, million. Should, he just should have said, you have, you'll have ability to listen to way more songs than you could ever in your lifetime. Or for you hoarders out there, you can download every song. What if Apple was like an Israeli company and everybody on stage had a really thick (laughs) accent? You know what I mean? And then like guys are walking around in little coats and with their little, you know, like like all of the leaders were like full of seeds. If they were a Hasidic company? Yeah. They're like a diamond, like they were a, a pawn shop in, in Manhattan. Strange. Well, it does get that, but it's for the it's for the it, land of misfit toys, I, I hate to say, I think okay. is the appeal. It's pe- people who never fit in. You know, now so they you think you think that's what it is now? Yes. Look how beautiful everyone fucking is, though. Well, that's that marketing. It's because, but I know, mean, even the, even like I don't know. This seems pretty Aryan to me. Well, yeah, but the, they're also you know when I say land of misfit toys, I don't mean I mean like on the inside. Uh, no offense, but uh, people who who worship technology to this level. It's pretty obvious that the they're not about this they're not the most social people. Skinny guy with the sports hating nerd or whatever. Yes, that's the appeal. It wasn't the guy but it wasn't what, is it though? Because this is just so mainstream. What? This this shit is so mainstream. Like it, yeah, there's it's nothing mainstream. countercultural about it. There's no. nothing like Right? So what would what would the nerds or the outcasts want? Well nerds that? are mainstream, bro. You didn't know well, that. Well now they are. That's yeah, what I'm saying. That's but what you saying. but you're saying like it's like people who never got a good shake. And I'm going well, that's like, the idea. That's what they're thinking. So that's okay. So that's the that's theme. The, that's what that's. But the it's not true. Pathos. Well, in other words, you the can pathos be completely is, in power and completely yeah. with privilege this, and still yeah. think of yourself as this marginalized yes, person. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is okay. all people are you. marginal. It's like yeah. yeah. I got you. Right, on that note. I'm gonna now the best device for staying motive, uh, for staying active has all the music you need to stay motivated. Okay. What? To enable these features on Apple Watch to we stay have motivated packed series 3 type the A most advanced technologies ever in a watch anyway i was going to say that i would prefer rather than calling talking to my artificial intelligence uh, personal monkey butler <laughs> by this dumb uh suppose like quasi exotic unique Ladies, girl, woman's name. All right. Um, I would, I, I'm, you know, anyway, I look like Star Trek. I, it's fine. It's a woman's voice. That's cool. We all like that. But I'd rather just say, hey, computer. Go hey, computer. computer. Hey, what? Computer. Yeah. Hey, computer, which is what Kirk said, you know, computer. Yeah. Computer. And the computer would tell them what mm-hmm. the information was. Right. And that's all they would need to know. Yeah, all right. That's the cool. atmosphere is sixty percent. But why hydrogen. Did, why does it the have to be? Customers are ninety seven yeah. percent satisfied. And and on Lost in Space, hey robot, robot was was you know Will's buddy, but he was still the robot, right? Yeah. It's this fucking anthropomorphization of the artificial intelligence that I guess is to make it appeal to you. Eh, I don't know. I don't get it. It's creepier than I that. I think they just had to come up with something for their voice a recognition name? to keep every for, to know. keep it from going off All anytime of it. someone's not the, I'm not saying it's the only thing. It's the it's the, this whole goal <laughs> to make to make to make a a, a, a android, you know, like this what like if her l- name was like Glout. <laughs> or hey Glout. Or you know 
Just some when some really like <laughs> Slavic sounding one syllable, like I hey Hecuba. <laughs> hey, no, well, hear me out. I sound like a nut to half the world out there right now. I'm sure, but my point is that all the research that's done to half make the world is going to listen to this. Yeah, at least half the world listening. Fifty percent. Half the world listening to this. My point is that uh, to, 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 to overemphasize the need for machines to reflect us as like a, a facsimile of human, of human yeah. you know, to get a, it's, it's f***ed up. It doesn't make any sense. It's yeah. a waste of energy. Well, it's all the movies about the androids. Too. Yeah, we're, people we're love that about, shit. We're worried about their rights more yeah. than we're worried about anyone else's rights. It's weird. Rights. Yeah. Well, in the movies we are, but that's the joke. That'll never happen. But that's true. What? We love the technology more than we love ourselves. Well, yeah, that's true. People, there are, um, yeah, there are maybe ninety-seven percent. I mean, this is this is this is it right here. I, we're watching well, it. it's it's all feeding itself. I know. I don't know. I no, but you're. I mean, like what you're what you're saying is that the technology needs a human face. Yeah. For all purposes, for marketing, for maximum penetration. True that. That's for, why for all of it, right? Like that so, makes sense. So it's like. The anthropomorphization, in a way, is just the way to sell it. Yeah, it is, and it goes along. But with not it. just to sell money, but to make sure people believe in it. Yeah, and it goes along with my my paradigm of of simple and cute. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. So it's got to be cute. The, Machines aren't cute. Your cute and simple theory. Machines aren't cute, so we got to make them. You know. Cute. Well, we're also trying to make them disappear. It delivers up to eighty five percent. True that. Faster Wi Fi while being fifty percent more power. Power efficient for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Developers, this is going to be great for skiing and snowboarding apps. Of course. Do you think they'll be like the first Apple right Watch at the top of Mount Everest at some point? Of course, the biggest challenge of all was adding cellular. Because the you Gurkhas see, were like, f*** you, and they threw it over <laughs> off the cliff. And you have to add... <laughs> the Sherpas, I mean. The Gurkhas. Not the Gurkhas. <laughs> then the Gurkhas showed up to clean up. Jimmy D and the Gurkhas. It's so big, it looks like a house arrest bracelet, and you're not going to want to wear it. So our engineers have been hard at work, and they've come up with some really creative solutions. For example, What if he was like, it took our engineers a really long time so long way too long yeah way too long it was just like they were because what they came up with it was looks even... like crap <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a fucking joke like i mean it's a retro it's supposed to be right it's supposed to be retro of i don't the think first you heard that this is the most popular watch in the world so again it looks like shit again, this is going to be alienating like almost he... everyone who's listening to this that's fine podcast. I, I and this is like it. our first episode where we're supposed to like be drawing well, people that's in my i'm entitled to my own opinion which they'll say everybody has their own opinion well obviously <laughs> that's like the lamest comeback when that's when everybody ever says that it's obvious that they have a problem with your opinion right <laughs> so why would they just shut the hell up if they i mean who cares you know but look at it it looks like eh, it just looks like shit it looks like crap i mean look at that thing come on man Engineers I mean, I get the iPhone and the we computers; they're all well designed, like IKEA. All right, so you don't like the, you don't like the look of it, but what's inside? So, here's where we ended up. Even with all these new features, faster dual core processor, W2 altimeter, all the stuff. You what do you need an altimeter for? Who needs a, a gosh you can darn altimeter, it, right? In case you're yeah. caught out in the wild. No, an altimeter is for your altitude, dude. <laughs> right. So you're looking at a topo map, and so you know where you are. Oh, okay. If you're like orienteering. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna get used a lot. <laughs> Wait. What's just thin as thin as two sheets of paper? And I'd like to do that for you. They got a phone. All right, folks. This is, the, this is the result of, of years of inability to pay attention in class. <laughs> and years of just having this little narrative inside your head that's going while someone else is trying to teach you something. And it goes until all the way until you're an adult, until probably until the day you die. Don't be like me. <laughs> you're unique. <laughs> Nobody can be like you. <laughs> I'm going to switch watches you mean Jimmy so D? you guys can uh, see what's going on. Uh, this watch is connected over the AT&T cellular network. This is our new Explorer face. 
and I'm going to tap on the, uh, the phone app, and I'm going to call Deidre, who's a colleague on the watch team. What if, what if she doesn't answer? <laughs> where, where is she? What if she's on the toilet? She'll answer anyway. Hi, I'm just Hi, taking Deidre. a crap. Hey, I'm calling you from the new Steve Jobs Theater. How Hold on. I got a wipe. <laughs> I'm a little sad to be missing the keynote, but I'm working very hard out here. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure you are. Why don't we pull in? He's talking to a giant watch are. across the... <laughs> Man. Oh, Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! That you know, is so cool. You know me. Yeah, oh, you, still give, on the give, clock. Give. How many well, times do you think they rehearsed this number? Look at her. Yeah, she's really working hard. I can tell she does that all the time. She's trying to fall off the board. So far, so good, Deidre. Yeah. She's like, I'm just trying to fall off this board. Why couldn't she be doing something she actually no, enjoys she doing? She's trying not to fall off well, this board. What if this was like a slap? I feel like this, if this was like the Tim Conway yeah. show. Well, no, it reminds you of That's Incredible, actually. Oh, there is what go. it reminds me of yeah. right now. Yeah. That's incredible. That's John that, Davidson, right? And Kathy Lee Crosby. Oh, right. They right. Have that, it's that same kind of really stiff. And then, like, she would fall off. Yeah, exactly. And there would be like a great big trumpet. Or the other guy. No, the other the guy. Ba, 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 ba. They had a clownish yeah, what, what, dude who would have, fall like, off. What was the thing for uh, That's Incredible? There was like a. Was there a horn section or was it all 80s music by then? It was, I don't know. It was synthesizer, you mean, or horn? I don't know. I just remember the whole thing was, that's incredible. You know? And, yeah. that's and then where... there was like the big rainbow. Oh. Yeah. That's where all infomercials kind of Or no, of it was like from, the extruded really. text. Right? Yeah. Exactly. The blow. Um, okay. But yeah, that, that does feel like that where it's like every. So in know, the distance, you know, there's this strange shape. That see car. that white? Isn't that a car on the road? Yeah, perhaps it is. Perhaps it is. Let's see if it moves. I, I should probably no, cut it's it a off boat. So, uh, but see who's in that boat. Yeah, it's somebody with a long lens. Seriously. It, I don't know. It's some I other... mean, you can see that buoy. Yeah. But what is that white thing? <laughs> All right, but uh, be safe. Some guy who, who regrets being this. in the frame. My pleasure. I may stay here a few more days. Yeah, okay. Okay, that sounds great. Oh, teacher. she's on vacation. I get it. Oh, fun. I almost recognize the mountains in the background from a uh, Instagram photo. He's going to try on every watch for us. I'm gonna go rogue for a minute. I, you know, you got, you guys get. <laughs> he's gonna go rogue. For a he's, minute. he's got. He's packing <laughs> heat. People take technology for granted, and just, just for perspective, I'm mic'd, and in fact, I'm actually double mic'd in just the right location so you can hear me. Deidre's out in the middle of a windy lake, and the only microphone on Deidre is, is in her bathing suit. Be honest, mother. Don't try and fool us. Yeah. We know how video cameras work. The little tiny one on the Apple Watch, it's a foot or two away from her mouth. She's paddling, and the signal's being sent over cellular coming in, and that's just darn close to magic. <laughs> Who would have thought? Darn close. I'd say it's just magic all the way. Definitely on the nose of magic. Yeah. Don't even try and pretend it's close. So they'll be re able to record your every co conversation yeah. all the time. comes in a wide variety of cases and bands. We have a beautiful new gold aluminum finish along with silver don't, and space Don't get all gray. conspiracy theory on me now. excited to introduce a new band we call the Sports I just want to encourage that paranoid thinking when it comes to this kind of corporate readable. fascism. I don't understand why you would do colors. that. Why would you feel that way? I just don't like. Seems so negative. There's some things people should be cynical about, which they are not. Yeah. And if it takes a paranoid delusion for them to look at all these beautiful colors, you really gonna harsh on that? All the beautiful colors. Yeah, like if you're 12. Oh my God, look at that. That is, what is awful. That? So now they've got. Okay, so this is the thing I've seen, and I just want to get your opinion on this. What? You see a digitally projected or a digitally displayed and a series of pixels showing an old watch face with hands and a second hand yeah what's your reaction to that 
asinine. I well, but I mean beyond just the kind of like the, the it's you no know why that is. It's so that you don't look like a douchebag to the rest of the world. It looks like you have <laughs> so it's a like watch. a status thing. It's like you yeah. no. Well, it's like look, I it is. It's you know, like it's I, so you blend I, in. I, it's so you don't look like a fucking robot. Yeah. To the rest of the tool. To but the I rest mean, of the status world. almost of like you you've got to avoid the scrutiny of this purely digital Dick Tracy watch by putting a clock face yeah. on it. Or well, are you saying? I really prefer to keep time in the old way. Oh, I see what you're getting at. Yeah, well, that's the excuse. That's the excuse. But, but, but what is what is that? What is that? What is going on? I think with that? I think people. I also think you know, and they'll probably admit it that people were more comforted by seeing a real watch and not this blank screen that will change all the time. It's like they. That's nobody wants to buy them except for the tools out there who are ninety seven percent of yeah. Which is probably, you know, I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, that's it's just a sell it, I bet. So that's I don't know. I, I got think, nothing. No, I think I think you got all of it, man. <clears throat> that's the caretaker, by the way. Here with some new watch what he's known styles, for. some beautiful new bands like the one on the left that's inspired by the classic Hermes driving glove. And last year we introduced a white ceramic watch. This year we're adding what? a ceramic a watch. It looks like a ceramic watch. It looks like a timer for the oven. <laughs> and that looks like a video game control. Uh, so this is big, right? All the, features of watch the cellular thing. And it still yeah, has all it is, because you can... But it's like the smallest phone ever. Yeah. And Which I, I, we have two no. versions of... It's good three. for things get smaller one with, with cellular the at 399 technology. and a version without cellular that has all the other great features at just See, you ever notice that like some point during the maybe I just didn't ever notice but like at some point in the mid 2000s or maybe it was even just a couple years ago they started coming out with a lot of rose gold mm. and I just thought isn't it interesting that rose gold is the new pink? I mean, mm. in other words, it does look kind of pink. Oh, yeah. But, but you know, in its appearance, but, like, it's interesting that the new pink is rose gold mm. in terms of, like, language of femininity and marketing and the way that, like, iPhone suddenly and Samsung, all of a sudden it was like everything had to be available in a rose gold. Well, fashion's because like that. It's like that, but at the same time, it was like it was an entry point Oh, to, like, this new kind of marketing. I don't think I ever saw a guy with one of the rose golds. No. Oh, it's a, yeah. But rose gold is, yeah, pink. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting, though, because before it was silver yeah. and black and white. Oh. So anything that you could get, you know, like the, the cases didn't really, you know, yes, you could get some bling that would That's like, true. You could get Apple a glitter case. Always, yeah, I just yeah. saw this chick with a case the other day. I had these two diamond encrusted Mickey Mouse ears yeah. singing. And she was, must have been 15 years old. Yeah. And if it made the thing, it made the phone like eight inches wide. Yeah. With this, I mean, the, the, the ears on it were bigger yeah. than the phone itself. And yeah. I thought, well, that's just like normal now. That's not, yeah. it's not even something to like point and go, ha ha. Yeah. That's like. <laughs> That's like really the that's like the normal thing yeah, you can do. Yeah, it's accessorizing. It's like you're you're you know to show your identity. I don't know. It's I just like, think it's interesting. Everything has to come in this rose gold now, and I I don't quite have it formulated yet, but yeah. I do believe one day I will. Nine, and we're gonna keep series one in the line at a new starting price of two forty nine. Nobody wears watches anymore in general, do they? So I wonder if they rank like how popular watches are. I think they're popular. Series they are popular? I never noticed. I mean, I like wearing a watch just because I hate looking at anything else for the time. Yeah. It seems like a waste. Yeah, it's irritating. But I also think, like, wearing a watch at all at certain points feels like, yeah. I mean, I guess, like, it's only when you're on a schedule and, you're, and you've got very specific things yeah. you have to do. And I guess you don't need a watch if you don't care about time. I always destroy them. I have... They just get damaged. Mine just broke the other day in the um, the TSA line. Oh man! One of those luggage buckets uh, scraped over, and that was my uh, uncle's Timex Expedition with the silver twist of flex wow. band that I've kept going for quite a while. Like the everything, the, the, something went bad. I went to the shop to see if I could get it fixed, and guy was like, 
no, we don't fix the Timex. Timex is a, it's, it has an expiration. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, if it's not keeping time correctly and we test the battery, there's nothing we can do. It's like, well, what if I pay you like 50 bucks to go in? And, like, no, we can't do it. Mm. You buy a new one. Yeah, that's just the... Okay, so all I'm saying is I grew up with Timex as like this yeah. reliable, yeah. tough American brand. Yeah. And so now you're telling me it was always just a disposable piece of shit that's just going to die. That's what I'm saying. Watches are kind of like a ridiculous It keeps, thing. Takes a look and it keeps on ticking until it stops and then you get a new one. There was a phase <laughs> in, you know... Humanity when the watch was practical, but oh, there's not practical to wear a watch unless you're diving or you're, you know, you're in the military and you, eh, if you're that busy. Yeah. That's why they're clocks. That's what I'm saying. Around. Like, if you, I, I mean, I, it, it just matters like how much well, you have to well, watch. Well, now, the time. now you got your dingus in your pocket with the thing on your the dingus. <laughs> I mean, that's an interesting exercise, right? You're this principled intellectual, like, <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, I haven't Those changed are so much. Important. And then you get in front of a microphone. It's like, hey, I've always been dingus. like this. I just uh, learned more as I've grown along. <laughs> We've worked with each of these carriers and they're each off have a this more globalization offer propaganda. Three, so it's going to be great. September 15th. <laughs> Look at it. It's like they're, they're a, it's their cop. It's like they they have their own cop buddy show. Am I the only one that's show. imagining some like squirt? <laughs> well, no, to me it looks like they're they're like uh Buster and Tate <laughs> together like, this, again. This looks like an emission. Like yeah, a, like sure. A bodily yeah, emission you're right. To me. It is like a, a, a like bunny a, shot. Yeah. But to me, it still looks like a cop buddy show. 